Hello, Ohio State Buckeyes fans. We have bombshell news about the rankings in the highly anticipated college football 25 game. Did you know that Ohio State leads with the most players in the top 100? But was anyone unfairly left out? Stay with us until the end to find out all the details. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to not miss any updates on Ohio State football. On Wednesday, EA Sports revealed the rankings of the top 100 players in the new College Football 25 game. The Ohio State Buckeyes had more players on the list than any other school in the country, with eight athletes. The next closest were Georgia and Alabama, with six players each. Other Big Ten teams, like Michigan and Oregon, had five players on the list. With eight Buckeyes players ranked 90 or higher, it's hard to question the game's creators. Especially considering this release is one of the most anticipated in video game history. However, it seems there was a significant snub, JT Tuamalo. Tuamalo is an experienced pass rusher for the Buckeyes, who along with Jack Sawyer, promises to wreak havoc on the defensive line this season. The question remains, e why didn't Tuamalo make it into the top 100? When he showcases his talent, it's clear he's one of the most skilled pass rushers in the game. Tuamalo has all the potential to be dominant and is expected to be a high pick in the 2025 NFL Draft. So why didn't EA Sports rank him 90 or higher? There are two possible reasons. First, there might be concerns about his consistency. Although he has moments of brilliance, he can also disappear in some games. This could have affected his ratings in categories like strength and awareness, causing his rating to drop from 90 to 89. The second reason might be that EA Sports thought it unfair to have three defensive linemen from the same team ranked 90 or higher. Jack Sawyer is ranked number 29 with a 92 rating, and Ty Like Williams is ranked number 54 with a 91 rating. Maybe that's why they decided not to give Tua Malo a 90 or higher rating. It makes sense that young, unproven talents at the college level don't receive such high ratings. This includes young star wide receivers like Jeremiah Smith, Carnell Tate, and Brandon Innes. It also makes sense that players changing positions, like Sonny Styles, who moved from safety to linebacker, don't receive high ratings. But if there's one player whose rating should be questioned, it's Tua Malo. Even outside the top 100, his overall rating is expected to be between 86 and 89 so, Buckeyes fans, what do you think about this possible injustice to JT Tuamalo? Leave your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to stay updated on all the latest Ohio State football news.